Hi everybody! This week on D-Link TV DIY, we're going to talk about running Ethernet cables. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So this week what I wanted to show you was how to run a cable uh, through a wall and also how to crimp an end onto that cable. Because when you run it through the wall, um, you're not going to be able to fit it through the wall with the end on it. So um, that's why we need to do both parts. Um, one of the reasons why I want to show you how to do this is, let's say you have a computer that's just in the next room um, over from where your you know, cable uh, or DSL comes in and where your router is but you want to use gigabit speeds instead of say something like wireless. Well, the cable that comes with your router is only six feet long. This isn't going to cut it. So what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a custom cable. Now you can get this stuff at um, you know the regular uh, place where you would get um, other ethernet cables, but it comes in bulk. It comes in a, in a box on a spool. So what I've done is I've cut a chunk off here about 20 feet long and that'll be uh, fine you know, for the distance that we're looking for. The other things that we need are, this is an RJ45. This is a, an ethernet um, cable end that we'll use to crimp onto it. Now you wanna make sure that you're not getting an RJ11, which is what you use for a telephone. It's much smaller, it's only four wires where this is eight wires or four pairs where this is two pairs. So the other thing that we're gonna need is you buy a couple of these little gizmos right here. When you drill the hole through the wall, this makes it look nice and neat when you get finished. And the last thing that we need, these are um, little cable holders. You put them um, over the cable and then hammer them into your baseboards to hold your cables nice and neat. So now that we have that, um, let's look at the tools that we're going to need. The tools that you're going to need for this project are a drill, a crimping tool that'll do RJ45s, a measuring tape, and a hammer. So whenever I'm going to run a cable through the wall, what I do is I usually measure about four inches from the corner of, of the wall where the you know, wall meets perpendicular with the uh, with another wall. Measure about four inches in on either side, so that way the holes line up exactly. You should be able to look through the hole and see from one side to the other. Now, what you want to do is you want to use your drill to drill the hole so it's just big enough for this to fit in. You might have to push a little bit to get it to fit all the way in. And what that's gonna do is make the hole look nice and neat from the outside. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take this little guy and you wanna slide it down onto your cable. Then take the cable and straighten it out nice and straight and you should be able to poke it right through the hole out through the other side. So now that our cable is poking through our wall, what we're going to do is take a second one of these and slide it onto here and that will go into the wall. So now we're ready to crimp the end of our cable. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to take our wire cutters and make sure that our wire is cut off nice and straight. Now if you look at the wire cutter here, there's a little part here that keeps you from um, pushing the cable all the way through. So when I push the cable in here, it stops up against that um, back part. Now, on this part, you don't want to cut all the way through the cable. You're just going to cut around the outside to pull this blue sheath off. Now, once you have that off, you can separate the wires into the pairs, which are orange and white, green and white, brown and white, and blue and white. Now, if you look on the screen here, this is the pinout that we're going to use, the color code. So if you want to take and pause the video and write these down, now would be a good time to do that.
So the next thing we want to do is untwist these wires so they're all individual. Then we need to put them into the color code that you just saw on the screen. So it's going to be white with green, and then green with white, and then white with orange, then blue with white, and then white with blue, and then orange with white, and then white with brown, and then brown. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to straighten all of these wires out. It takes a little bit of time to do this part, so I'm going to cut away, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you what I did so that you can repeat it. So now I've straightened the wires out. You can see that they're all in the order the same as the pinout that we looked at before. So the next step that we want to do is make sure that these are all nice and perfectly straight on the end. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to take our wire cutter and make sure that these wires are nice and straight on the end. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that you are looking at the gold fingers that you can see going across here and the white with green is going to be on the left, your left. Then guide these in nice and straight so that each wire goes into one of the channels here. You want to push it really hard until you can see the ends of each of the copper wires here. Once that's done, you take this end and stick it into your crimping tool, like so, and then crunch it down. Now we've crimped the end on one end of our cable. Now we just need to repeat the process at the other end. So the last part is, is nailing down your cable. You would just put one of these things like every six inches or so, nail it down with a hammer into the baseboard and you're good to go. If you get to a point where you have a 90 degree turn, just put one on either side. And that's all there is to it for running a cable. So that's gonna do it for this week of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.